clock, how many minutes do we have for the team of the governor so that they can prepare themselves uh, accordingly on how to manage that time? So the governor's team, you have one hour, 25 minutes, not just for this witness, but for all the remaining witnesses. And the county assembly, you have 32 minutes to do your cross-examination on the remaining witnesses. Yes, Senator Fernandi. Mr. Speaker, just your indulgence and guidance, uh, when just in just under one minute, when uh, CPA Ibrahim Mutwiri Kirimi, who was the CCM of Finance, appeared, I asked a clarification question on his standing at the ISPAC, where the membership number was 10955, and membership status is active, and status is not in good standing. But in his submission, so, Speaker, mark you under Oaths and Statutory Declaration Act of 15, uh, Mr. Speaker, under Section 11, when you don't follow the oath that you have given, the law is punishable at that. Mr. Speaker, I have gone ahead and obtained uh, from the ISPAC website, and I want to table to the House and for the information to indicate that CPA Kirimi Ibrahim W. Mutwiri was not uh, honest by saying that he's not in, he's, he's in good standing, yet from the ISPAC itself, it says not in good standing. Mr. Speaker, I beg to table and maybe- Senator Fernandez, I'm afraid I may not allow you yes. to table that document yes. uh, unless you get it certified by ISPAC. Okay. You have just sought clarification from the witness who just uh, uh, been stood down. And from the website, it still indicates that he's a, an associate or a partner in a law firm. Whereas indicated that he left a while ago, but it's only that the information had not been updated. So unless we get a certified copy of a document from SPAC indicating that particular information, I'm afraid I will not allow you to table that document. You know what to do, so you don't need to seek my permission. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, Mr. Speaker, these are quasi-judicial proceedings. Uh, this is a professional. He's being condemned without being given a chance to say his side of the story. This document would have been introduced and given to the witness when he was on the witness box. But I think if we now produce it, table it, it becomes a public uh, document without his side of the story, we would have condemned him and had Mr. Speaker. Well, if, if it was satisfied, I mean, if it was certified, I wouldn't mind recalling the witness so that he has a chance to also explain his side. But uh, downloading from the website isn't good enough. Council, you may proceed with your witness. I, Evans Moira Karia, do solemnly swear that the evidence that I shall give before the Senate in respect of the matters before the Senate shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Confirm your full names and the position you hold within Meru County. Uh, as I've stated, my name is Evans Maura Karia. I do represent a ward called Mitungu Ward. Uh, that is uh, in South Yemeni, Meru County. I'm also a second term serving MCA. And uh, I was uh, formerly uh, the immediate former majority leader of the County Assembly of Meru, uh, of the UDA party in the Assembly. And I was also the mover of the last impeachment motion uh, that was prosecuted in this uh, honorable Senate. 
and uh, it was deemed that all the accounts were unsubstantiated. Thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. You have sworn an affidavit that you have produced before the Senate, confirm that it's the one appearing at page 36 of volume one of the governor's response. Confirm that that is your affidavit. I do confirm. You do confirm. Attached to your affidavit is also a authority to swear where several members of the County Assembly of Meru have given you authority to plead and swear this affidavit on their behalf. Can you confirm that? I do confirm that uh, 17 members have given you authority to plead on, on their behalf. Honorable Senators, that document appears on the last page, just after page 50. It is not paginated, but it should be page 51. Just after 50, there is authority to swear that has been attached to the affidavit. Confirm that you have the authority of all these are members of county assembly to stand here and offer evidence on their behalf. And if that is the case, why do you have that authority? I do confirm that uh, members who have appended their signature have given me the authority. And this is because it's a large number that they couldn't all appear here in the Honorable Senate to testify or uh, be witnesses. Thank you so much. You have also alluded to the fact that you were the mover of the previous motion for impeachment against the governor of Meru. Confirm that that is the motion that has been attached to volume two of the governor's response. I do confirm. You do confirm? Yes. We sat here yesterday, Mr. Witness, and we watched the mover of the current motion, one Zipporah Kenya. Do you know of her relationship with the previous motion for impeachment? And what kind of relationship is there? Yes, I know uh, one honorable Zipporah Kenya, the move of the uh, present motion very well. And uh, she played a key role in uh, drafting the previous uh, motion and uh, uh, collecting evidence. And also, um, she sat down in the small team that uh, finally came up with the motion that was brought in the, uh, in the previous impeachment motion in the Senate. And also, uh, Zipporah Kenya, uh, Honorable Zipporah Kenya, uh, took the position of the deputy majority leader uh, due to the fact that uh, once I decided to support the governor, I was removed from that position. We, we are heading there, Mr. Witness. For now, confirm that indeed you took the motion for impeachment last year from the current move of the motion, that it was indeed a motion, but you took that motion from her. Is that the position? I didn't uh, take the motion from her, but uh, uh, once the small team sat down, it was decided that the motion has to be moved by the leader of the majority party then, and that's when it became my motion. So it is your evidence then that the instructions to move the impeachment motion last year was a party position? Yes, I do, uh, I, I do state that. And by party position, what party are you referring to and at what level? Uh, the UDA party, uh, the leadership at the county level, since before we moved that motion, the then Secretary General of the UDA party had called me and told me that clearly uh, that should, be not, should not be prosecuted as the position of the UDA party, but the leadership at the county level insisted that it was a party affair. That